Hey, it's Sasha Evdika, founder of Rise to Learn. And in this video, I wanna share with you how to trade options. And I wanna talk about what exactly is a calendar spread. This is just an overview, so it's not going to get in detail about calendar spreads, but I just wanna give you an overview insight of what a calendar spread is. First off, what you're doing with a calendar spread is you're buying a premium in one month as protection and you're selling premium in the current month. So that's why it's called the calendar spread. So in your nearest month, what you're doing is you're selling the most amount that you can. And in the further away month, you're buying protection. Now, typically the options deteriorate and the one in the current month deteriorates a lot faster than the one in the later month. And that's what you're trying to do is you're trying to gain that premium and reap in the benefits behind that premium. So that means that your stock doesn't really have to move for you to make money because you can capture gains and returns from a stock not moving or going anywhere. So here we have a calendar spread profit picture. And if you take a look at this and you know what a butterfly looks like, it looks similar to the butterfly. Now there are a few differences behind the calendar spread, but as you can see, if you buy this calendar spread at the $60 mark, uh, which would be right in the middle, uh, then you would be making a profit if the stock doesn't go anywhere between about $55 and $65. Now you can also position this calendar to the right for a more bullish sentiment or to the left for a little bit more bearish uh, sentiment if you have an uh, idea of where the stock is going in direction or if you want to offset risk in some way. You don't have to put it on right in the middle to capture the gains or theta. But remember, the goal behind these types of trades is that they're multi-dimensional. That means you make money in two different ways. You make money for one by the deterioration of the premium in your earlier month and you can also make money if the stock goes up or down depending on how you position the spread, whether it's bullish or bearish. Whereas with just buying a stock, you only make money if it goes up. You wouldn't make money from the premium deterioration, kind of like an insurance company would. Okay, so looking to set up a calendar spread, one thing you wanna watch is these days to expiration. So what we would do is uh, buy one at the 78 days away and sell one at 50 days away because option contracts deteriorate quicker the closer they are to uh, their expiration date. So the 22 day would expire even faster. Uh, now looking at Facebook here, you can see the volatility skew over in this right area. Or what you can do is take a look at the implied volatility here for that specific contract. Now here you can see the uh, April ones are 42.28% with a plus or minus 8% and the May ones are 49.5%. So here we have actually a negative skew for volatility. 42 minus 49 is actually about a negative seven. Now with this negative seven is not usually good because what that means is you're going to be selling something for cheap and buying protection something that's more expensive. So the protection is going to be expensive for you to buy. And what happens there is that volatility can screw you over. And that's what happens with options. You lose money or the things that can affect it is the price and the volatility if it moves against you or the volatility jumps. So it's actually two main risks. So instead, what we would rather do is find something that's two points uh, plus or minus on the SKU, not something like seven, 10, 15 points. Now, if you look at CMG on this example on this day, you can see this actually has a 33 and this one is a 30. So you can see that this is actually better because you have a positive SKU, 33 minus 30. You're buying protection cheap and you're selling something that's expensive. So that would be a better route to take, but I'm gonna show it to you on an index option uh, because you can still do it really, even if it's more expensive, it's just, it can burn you a little bit. And if you're losing out on options and trading options and you don't know what's happening, it's 
the volatility. You know, it's not the price, it's the volatility that's hurting you and you need to learn more about volatility. So here on the index options, what we can do is if we want to do a um, calendar spread, what we would do on the SPY is first we have to sell one single, okay, and we can analyze that duplicate trade or add it to our position. And then the other thing we would have to do is we'd have to buy one for protection. So here we did the 186. So we would have to buy a single for protection and we'd analyze that duplicate trade. So this is the profit picture that we would get. This is our calendar spread. I added five contracts to it. We're selling one in the April and we're buying protection in the May. And you can see it's a little more positive. Now what happens with this is we have a positive theta here, a dollar sixty-three. Um, so that means that every single day as I move the date forward, we make a dollar sixty-three. And as the stock doesn't do anything, that theta keeps increasing per day, meaning the dollars you're making per day keeps increasing because as we get closer to expiration, you make more and more money since the option deteriorates quicker. So as you can see that we make the most money if we're right here in the center of this profit picture, but it doesn't always work out that way. So understand when you're putting these on, let's say you put on five contracts, you might take a few off, one or two, as it's standing or not doing anything. Now what you can also do is put this at the 87 mark, and this one as well, you'd have to change it and make it a little more bullish. You know, you can make it a bullish calendar. So that way, if the stock doesn't move or do anything, you would still collect $260 or so. You can see it here as on the profit picture. You would collect $260 um, and it can also move up. So you have a lot of upside a safety, but some downside risk. Uh, you can also change this to be a little bit more bearish. So if we did the 182s, the same thing. So here, this one is a little bit more bearish or a lot more bearish. And this one, as we go to the downside, we make money. Or if the option stays still or the contract stays still, then we also make money from deterioration. Now, we don't make the most amount of money if it stands still. You know, we're kind of breaking even, but we can still make 50, 60 bucks in a week and uh, from the deterioration. And of course you can move your contracts up if you want and trade larger, but I wouldn't do that to start with. Now if you wanted to enter this position in one single order, all you'd have to do is right click, buy a calendar, click it, it pops up as one single order. And this is usually the best way to go about it because you get the best fill prices and the best rates. So looking at it here, you can see I've entered it as one order. And again, I can play with this area and let's say I want it more in the middle, I can do 185. If I want it a little bit more to the upside, you know, I can do it at the 187. Now the volatility in the Vega is the thing that can hurt you here. So if we change it here with the volatility, as it goes down, you can see what happens to this calendar. It becomes very problematic, okay? Now, on the other hand, if the volatility goes up to the upside, it helps you. So if you're getting burned on the calendars, this is the reason. Now, one way I like to counteract that is if I have a Vega of around six, I'll counteract it with a little bit of positive delta. If I was in a negative Vega position, then I would lean a little bit short delta. So you always want to lean a little bit more deltas with your vegas. So make it a little bit it does, it's not going to be exactly the same. I wouldn't do it, you know, 7 and 7. I would do it uh, according to kind of what the um what the trade looks like because the problem is is that volatility can hurt you. But if the volatility goes up in this case with the calendar, you'll actually make money. Because see, as I move the volatility up, you're making money. And volatility goes up when stocks drop. So that's why I would put this calendar on a little bit more positive, And that's how I would position my risk aspects on these calendars. 
and of course if you're trading five calendar contracts you wouldn't just set them and forget them and wait for it to expire or hold it for 30 days you might hold one for five days then see if the position holds and take some more profits as the calendar goes in your favor that's the way that you should trade is that taking money off the table learn to do that and take your profits there you have it and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna get insight about the stocks that I'm watching, about the stocks that I'm seeing that might break out soon or what I'm doing with my trades in the current markets, then go ahead and sign up to my daily recaps newsletter list where you'll get to see exactly what I'm doing with my trades. And they're in-depth videos specifically sent out to the newsletter subscribers. And if you want to accelerate your trading, if you want to take your trading and condense it much faster, check out some of my course offerings at tradersfly.com. Thanks again. And remember to do what you love, contribute to others, and most importantly, live life abundantly.